Hi, Facebook. How are you going to do that with my So, my husband and I are playing the cards. We're playing 500. Everybody needs to know what we're doing every two damn minutes, man. <laughs> and this is the happy conversation. Ain't no, not today, though. I ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> my husband and I spend a lot of time together. A lot of time. Because we work together, we live together, we're in the same organizations, so we spend a lot of time together. Help me. <laughs> and sometimes it is like, help me, because we are not always, <laughs> you know, sometimes you um, spend so much time with someone. That at times you're like, okay, you again. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that we don't love each other. It's just you again. But we have fun together. But I'm on today to ask my husband a couple of questions. I'm not answering, bro. Okay, that's our son. You. He will answer the question. There's a couple of things you really we need to speak about after he gets off the phone. Somebody else may not understand what it is, but 
It's right. not for them to understand. You know, you do what you gotta do. As, as you, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for you in order for you to keep you happy. You feel me? Fathers like that. Um, yeah. But the world don't get to see fathers and see her struggling like that. Like yeah, indeed, that. indeed. But um, yeah, that's a fact. You know, yeah. the sons are grown, and society. Yeah, that's a fact. This man thing. Yeah, no um, question. And. Yeah, you know, right. It's few right. and far between. That's a fact. That the sons call the fathers every day. You know, mother. Right. That's the your people. And, and you and listen, man. The, the Bible says, "One for your brother, so which you one for have, yourself." You we understand? Need to see that. That's the word of God. So, regardless of what anybody else thinks it's or a says, thing it's wanting for your for brother or sister, which you want for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Young, you got a bill and you want her to have a bill so she can come up and do good. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Anybody. Um, for that matter. Anybody. Me. And I'm your dad, your mom. Best nobody. Friends. Nobody. You know, and, Dallas, and, nobody. And That's on you. It's because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you gotta leave this world by yourself, and, and you gotta stand in front of God on judgment day for that. You know what I mean? And that's not but a blessing to, to be able to, to know that. To you know what I'm saying? That, God gave you know, that to, so you could do something for somebody else. With your son calling you every day and takes your advice, and y'all talk like y'all have been friends for years. That is tenfold, special, exactly. especially in these days and times. And exactly that. They do not put out there how many fathers are right. stand up guys who who are yeah. in the trenches. You got two hundred and sixty six of them. Why not? Sure that their children is <laughs> taking care of their kids, especially you know people saying? of color, because they Word would up. have you to believe oh, yeah. society would have you believe that Boy, in the families of people of <laughs> color, Boy, the father is I'm not snapping. allowed. The father is MIA. The father is no good. Hey, the father is this and the father is that. Yeah, look, and like there my nephew, so like, look, many look, out like there my that are not. I hands in the air. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I have a lot of friends <laughs> who are good yes. fathers. Who Naked. Some of them even have custody of their children. And who <laughs> hey, listen, I think Johnny Fair, nigga. Like, <laughs> as they portray mothers would do every day. You know, who, who who plays the mother and the father role, who, who gets up to yeah, the children yeah. and get involved with their children in school, do what, what are those home, crying? you know, um, come home and cook for their kids, what you know. Yankee I know <laughs> men like that. And not just a few. I know many. Yes, and he met it too. You know, there are men in my family. I have friends, best Real friends, rat. who are like that. And that's so beautiful and should be getting out mm -hmm. more and pe more people. He ain't got to worry about it now because when I come up, he come up. When I move, you move just like that. You feel me? Yeah, man. Nothing. Believe that. Nothing. That's a lot of that's a lot of change, bro. My husband and I have a dream. That's a lot of change. Listen, goals. that's a lot of change. We play like changing lives. Often. Change. As you know I mean? Entertainment. And of course, I'm a reigning champion. But he has won. That's a lot of money. And he no, is dear, very what? serious. Deal these well, cards. I'm, I'm play this game. Too. We play this game like this chess or something. Yeah, oh, no question. No question. Yeah, man. Pretty good. Mm. All right, no doubt. I yell at you in a few. All right, man, I love you, man. All right. So, I was talking to Facebook, baby, and I was saying how, um, that it was a good thing that we caught what we did, you on the phone with Frankie, mm -hmm. because I think one I of the... I wasn't even paying that no mind. Yeah, I know you wasn't. But one of the things that is a beautiful sight to see is a father and son who talks to each other every day and are so close, and I was saying that that represents um, the type of man you are. 
that you have a son that calls you every day and that y'all are so close and that represents what a good job you've done in raising your children. Uh, yes. It, it really does answer it just, that. It's that normal to me. That's why I it, it, it um, is normal to look me. at it like something different. And there's probably normalcy in in a lot of people in that relationship. But the problem is that it's not out there. People don't see that. Yeah. People don't see that there are fathers out here raising their children and close to their kids, you know, especially people of color. Because, you know, our society would say that the, the black man is never in the household yeah. or he's on drugs or somewhere in jail. Yeah. And the black mom is doing it all by herself. So to see that and witness that, I think that's something beautiful. I mean, you know, it's, it's sad enough that, you know, a lot of us aren't in the house with our kids, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with having a relationship with them, even if it's over the phone, because eventually you get together, but to call twice a week or once a week or every day or every two days or whatever. Contact is important to just stay in touch, communication, period. That's with everything, not only a relationship, but that's with everything, a job, anything, because communication is, is the key to all things. Once you have communication and understanding, it's a breeze. I simply agree. But I have a question for you. I'm not answering that. <laughs> and why do you take why are you so greedy and take all the things off the board? I don't think that was right. Well, you keep me on Facebook, I'm coming with a game. <laughs> I told you, this is heavy competition here. This is serious. <laughs> Here's my question. So, you know, we appear to be, I guess, in society's definition, though, we got it going on. And honestly, you know, look, it, things are not always the way it looks. And I'm not talking about on a personal level, because we do have it going on on a personal level. But I'm talking about as far as we got it together financially and everything like that. And we might not necessarily have it going on financially, but there's so much, so much love there to, and so much striving there together to the fact that the bad days don't even, we don't even realize the bad days are bad days. You know what? I'm not worried about being rich in material. I'm worried about being rich in God. Mm -hmm. When it's time for you to leave, you can't take none of that with you. So when mm -hmm. you stand in front of him that day, and that scroll opens up, and he says you were accountable for this, 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 and this, what you going to do with the bins in heaven? That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So your struggle is your struggle, but your struggle is being right with the Lord. That's what your struggle is. And if you live by his grace and mercy, it's going to be a struggle, but he's going to bring you out every time. So, that's what that is. Amen. Well, my question is this. Okay, so we love each other strongly. And um, as a man, because I know that sometimes as a man, it's not easy on you because you want to be able to provide for your family financially. And you want to be able to to keep my smile on my face and make sure that I don't want for nothing and all the things that men go through sometimes. So, how far would you go financially? Because we're talking about financial because we have a very serious bond um, when it comes to our relationship and our closeness without financial gain. But my question to you is, how far would you go for to to gain money so that 
you could have the better things in life, the finer things in life, or so that I could have the finer things, and not even you, me have the finer things in life. Like for instance, for example, let's say, and this is from a 20 question thing, but let's say um, your family, let's say we really needed some money, which we always do, <laughs> but anyway, and you were um, traveling somewhere and you met a female who you knew that I would never ever find out about it. You knew she was free of disease and everything like that. You, there wasn't any problems. And she offered you a milk. Let's say a cool milk. Knowing the situation that we're in. And she offered you a cool milk just for one night. What would you do? I'll call you and tell you I'm going to get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's my face. I'll be like, why are you calling? Go get the bread, baby. Bring it home. Bring it home. Do a good job. <laughs> on phone. I know. Why you on the phone? Listen. I'll call you and tell you, look, I'm about to get this bread. I'm going to get on my knees and tell the guys that I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm committing adultery in my marriage, but I gotta get this lick. <laughs> I need this. I need this bread for something. You. This is not my husband. No, I can't wait. Can't. Lord, forgive me for my hit that from the back, but I need that check to put it in the bank. <laughs> Cover our investment up, and you better do a good job too. <laughs> And ask her if she can give me a tip. <laughs> I don't even know we've seen it Just let me get that so I can roll out. Oh my God. That, that's my husband. Okay. <laughs> Babe, that is not what I was trying to <laughs> That's not the lesson I was trying to yes. <laughs> No, nah, I wouldn't do that like that. <laughs> you know people that's are TV saying, stuff. yeah, that's right. <laughs> people are but saying, But you know yeah, what? Right. The people that are saying, yeah, right, I do it. Those are the ones that don't have morals. They don't have what they're supposed to have. I wouldn't cheat on you for money. That's not. God ain't going to be happy with that. And my thing is, is, it's God first, then you. So with that being said, I'm not doing nothing that God ain't pleased with other than the regular sins of the day. You understand what I'm saying? But when it comes to stuff like that, I'm not compromising my eternity for that. I just won't do it. No, no, no. I ain't got it in me. I'd be like, man, she owes you a million dollars and you ain't like, get out. No, I'm just out. Just, I'm gone. And then when we get to divorce, then I might see if I can yeah, catch yeah. up with her. Be like, yo, yo, yo. Hey, you know what you asked me like about nine months? Like, I told you, no. I sat on it for nine months and thought about it. You still want that? You still hold that down? I need to see you for Speed that I need. Let me holler at you for me. Speed that I need that. I can't with you, man. So, that is. I'm not going to be able to do it. That's my husband and I love him so much. And I'm going to not like him in a few minutes because I'm getting ready to put out a car and he only got four cars and I'm going to get stuck with all the mess in my hand. And that's not going to be do about it. I don't need that. I wish I could do it. Just kick in the head. Did I fall? Seventeen hundred points over here. There's only fifty-two yes. cards. I know. <laughs> really, really, really. I'm having a serious problem with him right now. Yeah. Why you ain't hit me? Cause I'm, you know what I'm doing. Are you here, God? I thought you ain't need that. I didn't say that. You lying. said that. You said I don't want like that. Oh, you were talking about the day. Well, I do that. Yeah. You're going out on me.
me. He makes me so mad. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> so does that you know, ever get... <laughs> All right, man. 
Does that ever get too much for you? No. That's taking your option away. That's taking away part of your happiness. That's taking away part of who you are. If that's who you are and that's what you believe in, I have to support it. Even if I don't like it. It's just what it is. Because for me not to support it, I'm a part of you. You're a part of me. This is a marriage. This is it's not a dating scene or anything like that. So if there's something that you are happy and believe in, then I'm gonna support you until you see it through, whether it work or not. If you have the support, you're going to do the very best that you could possibly do to complete your task. And it is what it is. And I'm only here to support that. I'm not here to tear it down. I might, you know, when you turn your back, be like, eh, I'm, that's, that's corny. <laughs> but I, <laughs> you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, I don't, that's my bomb. I'm telling you, that's crap. It ain't even going to work. But I'm going to support you 10,000% because you're happy with it and it's something that you want to do. So we have this thing where as, you know, you, you're the man of the household and you have the last word. What if it was something that I really, really wanted and even though I said you had the last word, I did not um, want to uh, adhere to it. How would you handle something like that? What do you mean? Like, you know, let's say I was helping on doing something. You sucked me in again today, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> let's say I was helping on doing something. And even though I said you had the last word, I was helping on doing it. This is something that I was passionate about doing. And you just felt like it was the wrong move or something that I should not absolutely do. And I was helping on doing it. How would you handle something? I'm still not going to say that it's not good. I'm going to give you my point of view. And let you know where I stand and let you know what I think about it. Because the first thing is first, I'm not going to lie to you about anything. Good, bad, or indifferent. If it hurts your feelings, I'm not going to hide that. Even if it hurts your feelings, you'll get over it. We'll talk about it, we'll pray about it, or whatever it is, but I'm not going to lie to you, first of all. And second of all, if you have been on it, I'm gonna, and I'm really, really against it, I'm going to let you know why, what it is. Everything, you know, that, that will come in the spectrum of doing that, and then I'm still going to support you because if you're not hell bent on it, you believe in something. You believe that it's going to work some type of way. So if that's the case, I have to believe in you. You believe in me, don't you? Yeah. Same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Even like right now, I did not want to be on no dad on Facebook. Be playing cards, enjoying a quiet Saturday afternoon, and then you got me talking to millions. So how many of y'all is out there? Well, nobody's on right now, so Good. it's just between me and you, actually. Well, somebody's still going to see this. Same well, thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Help somebody. You never know when you, you know, what you say. Like, we never know. We have to, this world is so bad, baby, that... The least little thing we can do, we never know what might or may or may not help because this world is so messed up. Yeah, it's so screwed up right about now. And all we can do is try to be helpful in any little way that we can because we never know. That's all. You know? Mm -hmm. I, you know what? This man is getting on the nerves of this hard thing. You know? <laughs> and so that's why I do these face Because, you know, honestly, babe, you have a lot to you. Your intelligence is just, I'm floored by it sometimes. And you know how. I'm floored by your intelligence, by your spirit, by your, your, 
your gift of love that you have. And you know, sometimes you can get filled up and you have to cipher some of it out. And you, your spirit is so good and, and your love and everything is so good that you just <laughs> that the reason why you know I one of the reasons why I wanted to do this Facebook thing is because you have a lot to offer and share and I think people should hear and and, and people should Don't. should should get a chance to have a piece of the blessing that I have put it that way it's just my own personal perspective on things that I've experienced through my life. And you live and you learn. I've lived to be 50 years old. Thank you, Jesus. And everything that I've learned through these years, 51 years, I mean 50 years, you take something from every situation that you have. You need to. Because if you don't, it's crazy. Like, you need to take something from a good situation, a bad situation, a mediocre situation, whatever it is, you need to take something from that and be able to build from it, so to speak. And with that being said, certain situations that come up, if you just kind of turn your clock back. You've been in that situation before or something similar to it. And you learn to react to that situation in a different perspective because of how you dealt with it the last time. You ever be in a situation where you're like, boy, if I had to do this again, I'd do such and such and such. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. So, with that, trial and error. But take something from it. Take something from it. Something. You gotta look at the good in everything. Not only look at the good in the good, you gotta look at the good in the bad. The good part about this bad thing that happened to me is because this. You know what I'm saying? You have to. So, do you believe that about us that? The things that you've been through in your life, it was so that you could get to me. Which is a deep question. It is deep, but the only thing I can say about that is this. I'm just doing what God told me to do. I know how cliche it might sound to other people. Truth be told, this marriage and this relationship is based on God and God alone. And all I'm saying is that he gave me a woman that I needed, not a woman that I wanted. He gave me a pacifier. He gave me something to look forward to the rest of my days on this earth. So... So that's a good question. So you feel like that God gave you not what you wanted, but what you needed. So we all are in flesh at times. You know, we all go through um, the fleshly things because that's neither here or there. So how do you deal with, um, you know what? Just take all the cards. <laughs> yeah, I said you're really starting to bug me. So how do you deal with, um, you know, the fact that, um, you know, being in flesh sometimes and you be like, you know, do you feel like sometimes it's like, well, that I know God gave me what I needed, but what I wanted was over there. You know what I'm saying? No, because what you need is so much greater than what you want. And God, he explains it to you as he's giving it to you. So your needs no longer become, I mean, your wants are already taken care of. If that makes sense to anybody else, it makes sense to me. Like, I don't, I'm cool with it. Like, 
you know, there ain't no other chick out here that, you know, that I want or none of that. I mean, there was at a time, but I'm content. I have one more time. <laughs> Content what I have and what I'm doing and what I am and what I aspire to be and what God has for me. I just want what God has for me. That's it. Hey, you got all the aces? I wish that they would be down if I didn't trust and believe. Yeah, right, you want everything. Whatever, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. I know you got everything, but you making everything happen. It's good to put on that muscle. Hmm. <coughs> I help you out. Not me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I knew it. You said you ain't happy. I said you said all the aces. I didn't have all of them. So if you have aces. You know, you said I have all. I'm only going to take that. <laughs> I don't care what you run back. Okay. So when it gets to be the maid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then I don't become the other one. I set you up. So I set you up. <laughs> That's what I want. Well, y'all have heard my husband's, um, he's so brilliant to me. But if you hear him talk, it's not just to me that he's brilliant. But I think that most of the things that for today, I just wanted to get out there. For couples who might be struggling or having um, a hard time, you know, money, or even a person who's having a hard time. Money and fame and having nice cars and nice houses, all that is okay. But what's real important, especially in these <coughs> days of time, is, is, is a love for God, having God in your life, and someone who's got your back no matter what. Because... Truth be told, you know, I could have uh, a lot of stuff, but not having someone to share it with. Yeah, not having someone to share it. Because, you know what? Let's put it out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going through something right now, okay? My husband and I are going through something right now, okay? And the thing that we're going through is not easy, okay? But the reason why we can go on and, and look like ain't nothing to matter and life is all peachy is because we have each other, because we got each other's back. Because at the end of the day, this man accepts me for me, not for fortune or for fame, for nothing that I have. He accepts me for me. It, 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 um, you know... <laughs> And I accept him for him, it, you know, not for what he has. So when we get it, <laughs> so when we get it, it'll be so much sweeter because we already done been through the trenches together. So it, it we can sit back and relax once we get, and we will get it because guess what? 
And we talked about this the other day. We talked about how um check oh short square. I didn't, you did. You started the book. That's all you got out there. Wait a minute. Um, we talked about the other day about how, you know, when we do get some or if we if if having something having nothing now means so much sweeter when we get something because of the fact that we already done been through it together and no matter what we're we're striving together and we know each other. And this man is trying to go out. Thank you. What's that? Oh. oh man, I messed up, huh? I messed up big time. Well here, I'm gonna give it to you. Because I know you need it. <laughs> we talked about the other day that, you know, life is, it don't mean nothing if you ain't got nobody to share it with. If you don't have, baby, why are you hold the phone? Um, if you don't have anybody to share it with. And, and none of this, you can have fortune and fame, you can have a whole bunch of stuff, but nothing means nothing. Um, without somebody to share it with, without somebody that you know got your back, you know, that can, that you can, you know, go through something with that knows all your flaws and it's okay. It's okay. You know, I could have houses and cars, but to have somebody there who I can be comfortable with. Because again, we talked about having peace in your home. I'm not going to be in my home and don't have peace in my home, my own home. And in the way the world is going, you know, you need somebody by your side. And not just somebody, somebody who knows God or whatever you believe in, knows what you believe in. Because I truly believe we should not be unevenly yoked. To the fullest. 
Because especially with what we believe, it takes God to step out on faith and do it. And move and do everything that we did. Getting married like we did, you know. Um, for a lot of people, it was something quick, which for us, it wasn't because we had known each other for five years, but people didn't know that. Um, but even in knowing each other five years, we were friends for five years. It was like, well, why do you want to get married so quickly? You know, you know, just because you know somebody for five years, you never lived with them or anything like that. But everything that we did was a direct directed by God. Now, had he not had the faith he had, or me not had the faith I had, it wouldn't have worked. But because we were evenly yoked, that's why we can stand today and be um, partners in everything that we do. And there is no fear of, um, there's no fear of nothing for me because... Number one, I know God, and I love God, and I know who my father is, and I know he's number one in my life. He is number one in my life. And the second thing is because I have a husband who knows God, who's number one, who God is number one in his life. So that that's it for me. That says it all. I don't need to worry about um, or fear anything because I have the best. I, I'm rich in spirit. You know, not only do is God my all, but he gave me a gift. Um, he made a man in the image of him who could, who could handle me. And that says a lot. That says a lot. So I appreciate it. Mr. Grump, Grump, cut the cards. Do you have anything to say? Nope, I'm done. <laughs> My husband has a sense of humor. He's very funny too. Well, oh, I find him funny. I, that could be just because I'm in love. I don't know what it is, but but I find my husband very I love the sense of humor he has to touch with him since he <laughs> and I like that about him come on tell him thank you but as I was saying husband I was just trying to do it you know, going in, touch on an important issue. That's the point of this Hatchet Chronicles, to touch on important issues. To help someone along the way. We have to do all we can in this world, because this world is not a very nice place. So we have to walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, but. <laughs> y'all, you know what? I'm laughing. Y'all don't understand. But my husband and his faces and who he is, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew when I said that he was going to say something like that. No, baby. It's just that you are just so... You're a different type of man. You know that. You already know. I said that before to you. You're a different type of man. And it's not a bad thing. I like the type of man you are. Me too. <laughs> I really wish you do things in order, though. This is the order that I'm you doing did, You put down the eight before you picked up the seven. This is my order that I'm doing it in. No, it's not. Games have rules, sir. It's the same rule. I it's just put not. one down before the other. If you was playing serious cards, they would just cut your hand. They wouldn't have cut nothing. <laughs> I might have got knocked out. 
See, you know what I do. See, see. I'm not valid. <laughs> not valid. <laughs> you sound I'm valid. Not, I'm not valid. I'm not. <laughs> He's cutting my hand off. That's not Bali. Well, she stopped. <laughs> Cut it off because you're waving it around. <laughs> it's a free world. I should be having to wave, wave my hand around if not, I want to. Not in this ring. <laughs> Oh, that's what you be talking about me mm -hmm. in your mind? <laughs> yeah. Why are you talking about me in your mind? Because I can't. I don't think that's right. Hey, okay. Not talking to So you know what? He's being a real sarcastic. I don't know, but you really putting a dent on my life with these cards. This is going to be one of them hands like last time. It sure is. And I'm not happy. Let me tell you. I'm not happy at all. Here, babe. Okay, you know what? We always get on. Um, hat, I'm getting ready to wrap, wrap it up right now. We always get on Hatchet Chronicles and we have serious deep talks. But I wanted to do something more today, more, um, more live and more real, like reality. And this is what we do. This was this is reality. So. This one was just, it wasn't basically, it's, it might have sound like I was babbling, but I was hitting on points, but it wasn't basically about one certain topic. It was just showing love. This is what we do. Yeah, it was just talk. This is reality. We sit up, we, as I said in the beginning, we spend a lot of time together. Well, mostly all time together. We're in the same organization. We are running a business, you know, and we're in the house as husband and wife together. So help me. <laughs> <laughs> help me. <laughs> and you gotta have a sense of humor because it does get to that point sometimes where you'd be like, "Okay, you again? Okay, do I not catch a break here?" <laughs> so you know, and in actuality. I'm not going to speak for him, but I love being with my husband 24 7. I really do because he's my friend, he's my partner in work, in life, and everything. You know, he is and spiritually. So I love being with him, but I thought it would be nice if you see a reality of us, you know, and because I know a lot of people wonder why. Oh, I'm getting ready to hurt him. He just ate. All the cards and some of my cards are doing that. Greedy! <laughs> you need to pick up what you need to pick up when you can pick it up. And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I see. Put it back. Put uh, everything back. Wait, 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 wait. Can I pick up? I know what you're saying. From the right. Yeah, no, 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 no. I got it. Mm -hmm. Let me do one more. Anyway. Um. I know that some people think, oh, they get on, on Facebook and they might, they um, portray like they're so happy. How could they be happy 24-7? There's no such thing. But That's a lie. Yeah. We don't believe it. I anymore. have fun with you. I do. I am pleased. I am happy. I am content. I am full of joy. Except for this moment right here. <laughs> I picked up all these cards. <laughs> <laughs> for a <some>, bum spread. <laughs> That's what you this get. This is not good. He always talking about short spreads, but he always be short spreading. No, you do that more than I do. It mess up the whole game. King, king, king. Queen, queen, queen. 
Who does that? 10, 10, 10. No, I'm the Who ten, does I, I that? Do the 10, 10, 10. If you got I, two 10s, do nine times out of 10, you're going to do a short spread. You're going to get that other 10. I do with 10s. Anyway. Uh, we don't. This this is about the most you will see us argue over a stupid card game. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we argue, okay? No, you put that down. No, it's your turn to do. Because, really, we don't have anything else to argue about. <laughs> so, I'm looking. Yeah, you know, it's not. Thank you, Jesus. We're not arguing people. So, yes, our life is like this. And for some people it might be boring, so for some people it might be unbelievable. Everything is not for everybody. Yeah, but this is our life. This is what we do. That is good for me. So, Facebook, thank you Don't for you. taking time with us. I'm getting ready to spank that behind. I love to do that. So, you know what? Why you had to go there? Mom, we're married. See, he just said, I hope mom ain't mad. We're married, and I meant in the card game. Yeah, because ain't nobody spanking nothing over here. <laughs> um, I got to go because I have to let him know that I can spank the over there. Because <laughs> it's all mine to spank. <laughs> yes, I love it. Take okay, it it's time to go. <laughs> This is a family show, baby. You turn me into somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm a big dude. I, I, I've come to, to the realization that I will take up two seats on the bus. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Oh, my God, I can't with him. You turn me into a bus. I'm just saying, that's a lot of brother to be spanking. It's going to take you about a month to get off. Oh, I got time, baby. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I don't have a problem. All right. Baby. Okay, Facebook. Family show. Yeah, we gotta go now. <laughs> this is getting serious. <laughs> and Hatchet Chronicles, we out. Doses.